Am I doing this right? All right, so this is it. Whoa, it got super foggy outside. Wow. Today I'm going to attempt to show you guys what a day in the life is like inside the camper. I don't know how exciting it's gonna be, but this is a good day to do it. Unfortunately, where we're staying right now, the cell signal and internet connection isn't great. Um, I'm able to connect and function how I need to and do the things I need to do, but Cole cannot. So he left early this morning. He drove into town and is going to work from his truck in town today. So he's not here, but it's probably good because I know he would be super annoyed if he was trying to work while I was trying to record this video. It worked out. We're just outside of Redwoods National Park right now. We've been here for... We got her two days ago. So the plan is to just work throughout the day. I have a ton of editing that I need to do today. Like, that's probably what I'm gonna be doing all day long. And then we're gonna pop into the park this evening. I'm still in my pajamas. I typically stay in my pajamas for a while in the morning, cause where am I going? But yeah, wake up, feed the dogs before they go outside because all they care about in the morning is food. Make my coffee, wash my face, brush my teeth, do all that. And now I'll hang out for a little bit and do some work before making some breakfast. What time is it even? 8.25 already. I gotta get going. Pretty much every day I make a list of all the things that I need to get done. So I have yesterday's in here still. Just to have a general idea, like map out, okay, these are the things that must be done today and here's potentially how long they'll take. So I'm gonna do that right now. First things first this morning, responding to some YouTube comments. I try to respond, I wouldn't say I respond to all of them, but I really appreciate when people try to give like truly helpful advice or have really good feedback about one of our videos. So I always try to respond to those. I go through and look at every single comment. It's cool because we've actually started getting a lot of comments, which I mean, a few months ago, it was like just Cole's brother commenting on our videos, so. The video that I'm working on editing today is probably the biggest edit that I've done since starting to do YouTube. It's from our time on the Olympic Peninsula. There are about 300 video files that I just imported into the project, which maybe that doesn't sound like a lot to some other people. We did a lot, like we did a few different things. So I think that's why there's so many, but it's just a lot to sort through. Also, I ate breakfast like an hour ago and I'm still hungry. So I'm gonna eat a pear. It's a good pear too. I love fruit. I just like have to make a conscious decision to eat it for some reason. I eat a ton of vegetables, but fruit's a little more tough. So pear. I am calling about some RV camping reservations. What dates are you looking for? Well, I think it's kind of a long shot, uh, but Potentially September 13th through whatever you guys have, ideally through the 18th, but I don't know if you guys have anything available. The weekends are full. I've got uh, RV spot open the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th, but then that's it. No 15th? No. Okay. You're okay. welcome. Bye-bye. So we're in the process of um, kind of figuring out where we're going to go next month in September and I'm really nervous <laughs> about reservations. I don't know if we're gonna find anything open. Just part of life on the road so we might have to wing it. Who's out there? It's 12 30. I've been editing for two hours straight and 
there's a lot but I feel like I'm at a good place to take a break right now so I'm gonna take the dogs for a quick little walk and have some lunch and then circle back to editing or I might do some route I have a ton of route planning I need to do and like look into some more reservations so I might do that after lunch and then revisit editing after that do you want to go outside That trail is right on the property of the campground that we're staying at. Just so convenient. I gotta throw the dog food away here. The owners of this campground um, have a cool story. They've owned this place for 28 years, Tom and Carolyn. They're actually trying to sell it right now. They're, I think she told me she's 86, so they're just ready to be done. Pretty cool that they've had the run that they've had here. So it's a little bit different than like your typical RV park, which is, I don't know, just, more like commercialized this is still very much a family run business they still do pretty much everything themselves they do have one woman who helps them out with cleaning but they do all the maintenance yard work everything themselves still so yeah pretty cool spot Here's a tip, RV tip for doing fewer dishes. Reuse your dishes. I do it all the time. Like I didn't wash the pan that I cooked my eggs in this morning. I just sort of, all I did was cook eggs in it, right? So I just scraped off the egg, threw that in the trash, added some olive oil and started cooking in it again. I used the same spatula that I used this morning. Like, sorry if you think that's gross. And then this, I had the pasta in this Tupperware in the fridge. I could have gotten another bowl out and then I would have had to wash this and the bowl or I could just reuse this. It's the exact same thing going back into it. So I tried to do little things like that. I suppose like that's a way that you could just save water in general, even in a home, like conserve water. But in an RV, it's especially helpful to do those things so you're not filling up your gray water tank. And we do have full hookups where we are right now, so it's not a huge deal, but I don't know, it's just habit. Hold on. Hello. Hello. I've spent the first half of the day like over by the Safeway, and then I spent the second half of the day over at some parking lot by this lighthouse. We'll probably be back there around 4.30. Okie doke. I'll try to have everything ready so we can just skedaddle. Okay, we'll see you in a few hours. So I got really sidetracked um, working on route planning for the fall. I'm gonna go outside and um, connect our wastewater hose into the ground. Sometimes even when we have full hookups, we don't always connect it until like it's time to dump. That's done. Hands are washed. You gotta do what you gotta do. Don't, don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. <laughs> They're crazy. Need to like change and drink some water. And... All right, we're loaded up, we're ready to go. We are um, heading to Redwoods National Park now. Cole... Turn right, oh. then turn right onto US 101. Cole got off of work, got home loaded up the pups and we're heading like seven miles down the road. Also, I've had three outfits now on throughout the day. It is still yeah. the same day. Yeah, so. I wonder why you have so much laundry. I do have a lot of laundry, but we just do a lot of different activities. Yeah, this might be it. Let's take a look, see? So this is the map that we're working with. Very official. Prairie Creek Trail to corkscrew tree. It's an out and back that is 1.3 miles. Should we do it? Yeah. This is confusing. You think this way? Yeah. 
Why? Okay. Yeah, let's turn around. We went the wrong way. Now we don't know what to do. Look at what we found. Don't touch him. Just leave I want to see if he would move. Leave him alone. Kind of trippy to look up at it. Found it? We found it. Well, that was neat. 74 and a half inches around, or inches. <laughs> 74 and a half feet around. It's a huge trunk. It's just funny because they all look massive. So that one, it's like, oh yeah, it's big. But like, they're all huge. I'm not well. <laughs> We're at Lady Bird Johnson Grove and I just about vomited driving up here. That was very windy and very fast. Ladybird, where are you? This is your grove. No dogs allowed though. So they stay in the car. This is what it is. Go in your home. <gasps> this is so cute. I'm just waiting for like a spider to fall on my head. I keep doing that. Hi there, we're back from the park, but that's as much as we're gonna do. There are other, obviously there are other places to visit in the park that we didn't get to, <laughs> plenty of others. Um, but that's all we're gonna do, just the one night, cause we gotta get on the road tomorrow. Gonna make some dinner, and then work on the video again more, probably pretty late. <laughs> at the end of the night for about an hour and a half and I'm just a little tuckered out. It's almost 11 o'clock so I'm gonna call it a night. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. This was definitely a first for me, kind of a weird experience, but let me know if you guys like this. Drop a comment below. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every Monday and Friday. They are not like this. Uh, they're usually about RV life, tips and tricks and what we're learning and places we're visiting. So Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.